Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you are online. Oh wow, that music. Okay. So I do hope you are online. Everyone can hear me. I just tuned in. Give me a second to get everything done here. Oops. We are in game number one of this best of seven. Best of seven, best of five, clan war, okay. There we go. Uh, this time, today, it is Pro Kings versus Nude Blanche. I hope that's spelled correctly. No. The title is wrong. Nude Blanche. Oh my goodness. Okay. Now we are done. We have spawning in the top left hand side of Frost Leather Edition playing as the Blue Terror for the Pro Kings. It is Biako and his opponent, the Pink Terran, in the bottom left hand side of Frost Leather Edition for Nude Blanche. It is Bessior or Basher, maybe. So we do have a TVT here. I hope you can hear me guys, I really hope you can hear me. Nice. Okay, this is really, really good. So there's the first Reaper for Basher and he's going into more. So a 2-Rex opener against a 2-Rex opener. And it looks like this is standard stuff nowadays in TVT. There is still the 1-1-1 one, one, one with Reaper Hellion. But, oh, uh oh, how good are the reactions? Nice, this Reaper should be so dead. Oh, it gets away. Wow, oopsie. Come on. What am I doing here? There we go. Ah, wrong controls. He gets the Reaper. Awesome start for Biako. If he can continue to do this, don't jump up, don't jump up. Oh, the bait, the grenades, and the focus fire is really good. But both Reaper get away. Awesome control out of Biako to save this Reaper. And he gets himself another SCV kill. Awesome and denies the command center for quite a bit. Loses a Reaper now and now they are trapped. And this is not good for Pro Kings here in this first game. He might lose this Reaper as well. Mm, and he doesn't have any source of splash damage. So more and more Reaper so far in this TVT. Ah, uh, how good are the reactions? Nice focus fire but... Oh, he loses the Reaper! This could be game ending already. I hope that's not the case here. I want to see more TVT action, but it's looking really grim here for our Pro Kings Terran. Uh oh. Oh, and the delay on the command center. The revenge is there. And now Yako needs to pull SCVs. The focus fire is so good. This Marine dead. Wow, good grenade. Still two Reaper remain. Oh, the Marine dies as well, and the Reaper might get out here, or maybe they just stick in and deal as much damage as possible. And the Supply is telling the story here in this game. The Command Center still delayed. Another Command Center coming down. Sure, why not? If you're ahead, stay ahead. <laughs> That's the way to go, man. Mm, even though Basher can't maybe potentially end this game here, but he's in a very good spot, and Yaku. Oh, losing another marine, and he will lose another marine as well here. Two, just oh, and the grenade is real. Nice reaper control. The hellion is out. However, that's not enough. GG. Oh wow. Okay, so that was, that was. That was quite intense. Lol, what? I can't, I can't use... What? Okay, I need to refresh my stream. Currently. It shouldn't lag. It shouldn't lag.
Like, it really shouldn't lag. Uh, does it lag that badly? Let me check in OBS. So it says I don't have any any thrown away frames and my KBS are okay as well. It shouldn't lag at all. It really shouldn't lag. Okay guys, it looks like we might just have a CVC on our hands. The next game is ready. Those guys are not wasting any time. They are like, bam, 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 let's play. Bam. <laughs> That's what they do. I'm ready as well, just if, just in the case someone wants to know, Caster is ready. And you can hear the beeping, the beep booping from the countdown. And there we are. Loading screen. Wait, that's the wrong thing. That's the right thing. Whoopsie! Yeah, it was a long day for me, so please, don't be too harsh to me. Okay, welcome everybody to this... Today's clan war. Between Nude Blanche and Pro Kings. As we have spawning. And the bottom left hand side of Galactic Process Ladder Edition in the red, playing for Nude Blanche with the 14, 13 pool even, it is Hino! And he's playing against the Blue Zerg in the top right hand corner, playing for Pro Kings it is P Tech! So what will we see here? A super fast pool out of Hino, so he's going for some crazy aggression. And he will test p -Tech's defenses here in this game number 2. It is a best of 5 clan war, so depending on how that goes, it could be really rough for a pro kings here. And there are the circlings. And speed on the way as well. Uh oh. And there are the circlings here, so much chatting going on here in the observer chat. Stop it, I need to concentrate. And just now p -Tech can go for his own circlings and he goes only for two so far. He doesn't know it's coming. Now he sees it with the overlord. Uh oh, can he save the hatchery? Hino is full all in currently with this, so maybe just... Don't cancel it now, get a safety spy and do something, don't lose the circlings, you need to have seen this, those circlings, bailing is coming up for Hino, and yeah he knows, he can't ignore the hatchery, go straight up there, there's the transfer, he's pulling all the drones, he needs to do something, so it's, it's okay, and he can transfer them back to the hatchery uh, as soon as it finished, so he's fine for now. But the queen, you need the queen down there, get the queen down, get the queen down, don't lose the circlings, this is intense micro, don't lose the circlings, no, wow, so close, protect the queen, speed will finish soon for, for Hino, uh, but the defense looking strong for Ptex so far, and I like that as long as he doesn't lose the circlings, and you should mine, you need to mine, man, man, come on. Double queen production really helps against Banes as well, spine crawler finally going down, this is really good. This is really good. Wow, so many people in online here watching my, my stream. Welcome everybody! Welcome everybody! Hino doesn't have time, I see. So he goes for a Bane all in. And it can work! The Bane connections are decent, killing the spine crawler. And uh, this queen in good position but not being protected good enough from the drones. The queens however now here are vulnerable as well. Needs to micro a little bit better P-Tech. Hmm... Oh, he's short on everything. He now got 12 circlings, but no speed himself. He should fire up speed, but he he can't because of the lack of, of minerals. Oh, nice transfuse here. Good save so far. This overlord 
I like that he did uh, push back the overlords from Hino. But there come the banelings. Good focus fire. But the queens gets around that. Uh oh, that's not looking good. Huge bank connections here. And p -Tech in a lot of trouble. Can he hold on? I don't think so. Another nice bank connect. Or maybe not. And there we go. Wow. A swift 2-0 for Nude Blanche in this best of five clan war so far. Can Bro Kings bring it back? Ooh. We will see in the next match. Okay, so who's who's next? I'm really thrilled. Will we see another Terran? Maybe a Protoss? A PvP? A CVC? Some cheese? Proxy battle cruiser? Who knows? Everything could happen. And the StarCraft mod is on. Maybe, just an idea, maybe we should play this clan war on the StarCraft mod. What do you think about that? What do you think? Let me let me chat chat with, communicate with me. What do you think? Should we should we do the clan war <laughs> on the StarCraft mod? Would this be fun or not? Just let me know. I think this could be so fun to watch and cast. <laughs> I just saw the the StarCraft mod once and it really does look awesome. It's it's a very fun mod. Starcrafts, carbots for life. So we got certain 55, Silver Haze 86, Pro Adziador, MGC Paytag, Paytag, welcome, who just played, and Cortex. Okay. If I mispronounce any of your names, then please. I apologize. I apologize so hard. Yeah, white tigers are awesome. White tigers are the best animals on earth. There's no better, no better animal for me currently or forever than the white tiger. Or any tiger. Yeah. But white tiger do look awesome. Tiger hype! TVC! Oh yes! New get this book! Um... If I could speak Korean, I would cast in Korean now. Because saying New Gettysburg, I just, if you watch the Casper Cup, they pronounce it so funny and I loved it. So let's see if I can do it as good as the female voice who introduced the map. Spawning. And the bottom left hand side. Let me get the scores first. As the blue Serb playing for Nude Blanche, it is Satsuki. And on the left bottom hand side of New Giddes Playing for Pro Kings, the Red Terran Blask. Nice. Byaku means White Tiger in Japanese. Thank you for that. That's really good to know. There are not enough facts for me to know about the white tiger or any tiger as well. So, Blast going with the, I would say, Rex Gas. Yep, definitely Rex Gas on New Gittes Bürgerl. And for Satsuki, it seems to be Hatch Gas Pool, standard stuff. But this game could turn crazy within seconds. Let's see. Let's see if that's the case here. We might see Mac here. I don't know if Blask plays Mac, but on New Gettys Bürgerl, Mac is a valid, solid option. Maybe not the best, but it's doable. You can play Mac on New Gettys You can do this. Uh, actually, do you see the stream? Yes, you do. Wouldn't have, would have been bad if you <laughs> if I if I screwed up switching the overlay. But I'm not an upcaster. I know my business. I know my business. 
If only I could talk properly. <laughs> oh, he closes with a reactor! Okay, let's hope he doesn't forget about the supply depot. No, he doesn't. Blask is not an up. He knows how to play this race. He knows how to play this matchup. He's good. And the Reaper is on the way. So with the 2-1-1 opening on the way, which it currently looks like, I think... Oh, don't skip SCVs. Please don't skip SCVs. Don't skip SCVs. Don't skip SCVs. Ah, oh, he skips SCVs. Blask, don't... Please. Please. You should definitely... <laughs> Come on, build SCVs. The Reaper dealing awesome damage, but skipping SCVs for so long is not good at all. But he gets a circling. That's at least something. And Satsuki is looking good here. Double Queen uh, on the bottom here of the natural preventing the Reaper. Oh, that's so nice. Tracking down the Reaper even there. Yeah, Satsuki is safe. The Reaper won't do much here. And here we have Stim on the way, potentially. The 2 one, one opening, standard stuff. Nice. Six people watching. Welcome, everybody, to game number three of this best of five clan war between Mute Blanche and Pro Kings. And currently, Mute Blanche is two maps ahead. Speed finishes up right now. And now this Reaper is basically super dead. If he sticks around for too long, but he doesn't. Ah, he might get killed. Ooh. The Reaper, uh, the Reaper, the... Oh! The Circling's on the hunt, will find it. Good grenade! He might kill one or two more Circlings. Nice! Nice! I would have lost the Reaper without killing anything. But we do see the Roach Warren. Super early Roach Warren. And one Evo Chamber. And this is unusual already. At least that's not standard. Like Ling Bane, Corruptor, Ultralisk. We could see drops, but with the Roach Warren, only one and the Roach. Ah, yeah, and, and the Evo Chamber, I mean. Where's the Evo Chamber? There it is. It could also be just uh, for Ravager. Although on this map, Liberator is not quite common. I'm really interested in, in what Sasuke, Sasuke gonna do here. Uh, yeah, Roaches. <coughs> Okay, quite a lot of them. If he doesn't drone up even further and just uses the ha third hatch as a macro hatch, 10 roaches. Oh, yeah, this looks like a heavy pressure build. Um, he's on one gas only, two gases now. Okay, mm, so we won't see too many Ravager. And he's gonna go back into droning. So, okay, the double medivac drop will move out now. We'll get greeted by a lot of creep spread, really awesome creep spread, and a bunch of roaches. So Blask won't find much damage in this uh, first attempt to push. But later on maybe. Maybe he can shave off some roaches or clear some creep, that would be helpful as well. Oh yeah, Satsuki knows the timing, he's prepared. Stim is now ready. Good kiting and focus firing on the queens now. Lifting and that was good damage For three marines two queens. That's okay You normally don't want to lose too many marines, but he dealt enough damage to justify the losses here Very well done blast behind that third command center. I love this wall off. It's really safe and Yeah, the tanks are a bit late. So if he wants to go for tanks as addition He sees off. Um, he doesn't follow it up with a four medivac attack like 4 medivacs or 3 medivacs and 2 tanks, however, and a bunch of marines or 4 medivacs and 30 to 40 marines. That's not the case here, so he takes a slower approach to this game, and this is okay. But yeah, against those many roaches you need to pull back. The upgrades are decent. 1-1 one, one. against 1-1. One, one. If only he wouldn't skip so many SCVs producing. That's really... He should be behind maybe 8 SCVs, but not 12. Nah. However, the game slows down just a little bit. This drop gets spotted, and there is no overload speed in this game. So what you could do as Terran, always good. It has fallen, fallen out of favor uh, and the meta, but it's still viable. Go for a Viking. Clear the overload. It's awesome. Here comes the Vitamine. Drop it first. Uh, focus fire on the Vitamine! Really, really good. And now this drop is in a bit of trouble. Not doing too much damage, but the scan and killing the creep. Really good. Really good stuff here. Goes up to kill the Roach. He could find awesome damage! 
Satsuki c completely out of position. And oh, this, those are so many dead drones. He might get the queen as well. 12, 13 drones down. Whoa! <laughs> the dream! I wish I would drop like that, but that was awesome. He identified the perfect window, killed 20 drones. But that was the damage he had to do. They are still even in, in supply. And yes, this is favoring Terran a little bit, but. Wah, wah, wah. Hive tech on the way, and this is early hive tech. Mm, not the super earliest, but really early. You you could consider Satsuki is rushing to hive tech. Uh, if it's Ling Bane, corrupt or normal, you see hive tech going down uh, ten minutes, nine minutes, maybe if if it's go going good for Zerg. But seven minutes forty, wow, that's that's really, wow, that's really, really fast. Okay, finally two tanks, more marines. He will need more marauder against this road heavy playstyle. Tanks are good and tank marine can work, but I prefer having some more marauder in the mix. And he definitely should go up to 8 barracks ASAP. Uh, he's on 6 barracks. I would go up to 8. But let's see. Let's see if Blast can do this. He has a good 1 1 timing, 2 2, not too far behind Satsuki's. And Pro Kings needs to win this game. So the pressure is on, Blask. The pressure is on. On Blask. Instant Ultralisk Cavern. It is super risky putting it down at the third base. Um, however, with the Infester, the Biles, the Roaches. Uh oh. Okay, this Bile was quite okay. Uh, the Fungal, I mean, sorry. Oh, yeah, there we go. Big engagement. I just think the tanks are too far out of position. And he's missing quite a lot of units here in this fight. The Zerg going for a good concave, pushing in and seeking for the juicy fungals. He gets some of them, but not all of them. Good pushback blast, not risking it, not losing it. That now it's Atsuki's off creep. He could take this fight. And he will. If he dodges the bias, that's looking really good so far. And yeah, Blask is on it. Blask is on it. Uh oh. Ultral is on the way, and we soon should see the Chitinous upgrade as well. Chitinous plating, it's called. Ultra armor. And I don't think you want to go for Widowmines against Roach Ravager. Yes, Widowmines are good against Circlings, Banelings, they can work against Ultralisk. But he goes now for Widowmines here in this game. And there are still a lot of Roaches left. Wow, look at the Zerg army, that's so much. But very good kiting back. But the Fungals, mm, massive Fungals. And the Biles hit as well. The Ultralisk backing up this army. And Satsuki taking a massive lead after this fight. Uh, the Vidomites <laughs> not doing anything here. Uh, they, they were okay, but not the biggest hits. And mm, Blast with the fourth base now. On 67 Marines, uh, SCVs. That's good. Oh no, please, don't go out. Mm, he took the gases way too late, in my opinion. And Satsuki, there it is. Chitinous plating. The Widow Mines dealing more friendly fire than actual damage. Uh, friendly damage. Uh oh. Good focus fire on the on the Ultralist, so he knows now he should know with, uh, with the damage he just dealt that they don't have the Chitinous up late, uh, plating upgrade. Blah. But yes. Now Ultralis will turn into Super Saiyan mode. They are unkillable now. Basically. They are really tough to kill. And they do have this frenzied mode fre frenzied mode. Immune to snare, stun, mind control, and movement altering effects. So strong. Okay, Liberator coming out. Widow Minds to help. And that's good, but I feel like you need ghosts. The spire is on the way. Oh, carefully! <laughs> That's so risky! Ah, decent fungal! Hitting the tank and the widow mines. Good damage here. Oh no! <laughs> so close. And there are the biles. And Blask still not maxed out. He's not producing enough units. He needs to produce more. 
uh, liberator if you like. And he would need ghost. Goat would be so useful. The concave circus setting up here is huge. And he wants to go through the through the rocks. And that's what he's aiming for. Mm. And there is the big flank with the circlings. The widow mines dealing good damage here. The kiting is decent. But is it enough? All the bio so low, the medivax out of energy as well. The liberator dealing good damage, still alive. Uh, we'll get taken out right now. Mm, how many medivacs are there? Three only. You would have, you would love to have six here, and more liberator and ghost and everything. Oh, it's not looking good here. This bio stint again. It's so low. Oh, the fungal is huge. The corrosive piles do hit, and it looks like Satsuki broke Blasks back here, and he just might push for the win. Great surf play here. Out of Satsuki. And Blast. Yeah, wasn't able to punish the rush to Hive Tech. Oh, fire raining from the sky, and you know that's a bad sign if that happens. Apocalypse has come for Blask. He's done. Drops w under 100 supply, he's basically dead at that point. The planetary is a strong building, but not strong enough. More fire from the sky raining down, killing everything. 40 SEVs, 50 soon by GG and Satsuki with the 3 0 in this best of 5 clan war. Okay, guys, that's it for today's clan war. Thank you so much for watching. And with that said, I'm done. I wish you a very nice day and goodbye. Hey, oh there, thank you for watching. If you'd like to support me, simply hit the thumbs up button. Do you have any wishes, feedback or suggestions, put them into the comments below. You may also subscribe if you're new to the channel. I wish you a wonderful and stress-free day. Take care. Bye-bye.